Regnum Christi Daily Meditations, a service of the Legionaries of Christ. An R.C. Meditation for March 31st, 2024. Easter Sunday. Empty Tomb, Expectant Heart. From the Gospel of John, Chapter 20. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture, that he had to rise from the dead. Introductory Prayer Lord, you are the source of all life, because you are life itself. Your resurrection gives me the hope of being raised from the dead to rejoice with you forever in heaven. Thank you for your presence in my life. I love you, and I want to follow after you with all my heart. Be with me now and inspire my prayer. Petition Lord Jesus, grant me the joy of seeing my hopes constantly kindled by your power over sin and death. May the strength of your resurrection overcome the weaknesses of my human nature. First Reflection Confusing Signs Without faith, realities that should inspire hope and expectation only cause confusion. Jesus' empty tomb is the sign of the most complete victory, the most extreme love, and the most powerful presence. Mary Magdalene, Peter, and John all see the empty tomb. But their limited faith needs time to grow and completely accept the great gift that is offered to them. In approaching the mystery of God, I must stoke up my faith. Otherwise, what should cause hope and courage will only wind up becoming a stumbling block for me. Only a sincere and generous faith in Christ enables me to take the circumstances of life in hope, confidence, and security. Second Reflection Running to the Experience of Faith Running is an integral part of this gospel. Mary Magdalene runs, Peter runs, and John outruns Peter. Love for the Lord creates a sense of urgency. What they saw at the tomb could have been seen without running at all. But promptness is a sign of love for the Lord. If I wish to experience Christ and the power of His resurrection, I need to have a sense of urgency in my relationship with the Lord. I must strive to meet Him and give myself to Him in my here and now. I can't wait for the ideal moment. If I don't give myself to Christ now, under the present conditions, there is no reason to think I ever will. Third Reflection Faith begins with the experience of the senses, but does not end there. John, Peter, and Mary Magdalene will eventually have an unshakable conviction in the resurrection and become messengers of the resurrection. But they first need to see the empty tomb and pick up the wrappings. They would also need to see and touch the risen Christ. All this would cause wonderment, reflection, and eventually a growing realization that would induce faith. 
God works in the same way in my life. First, there are the lived experiences of my life. People I meet, circumstances I face, events that occur. Then my wonderment and reflection on what it all means. Then the slow dawning of faith. It is clearly evident that Christ's resurrection is the greatest event in the history of salvation. And indeed, we can say in the history of humanity, since it gives definitive meaning to the world. The entire world revolves around the cross, but only in the resurrection does the cross reach its full significance of a salvific event. The cross and resurrection constitute the one paschal mystery in which the history of the world is centered. Therefore, Easter is the Church's greatest solemnity. Every year she celebrates and renews this event, fraught with all the prophecies of the Old Testament, beginning with the Proto-Evangelium of the Redemption and all of the eschatological hopes and expectations projected towards the fullness of time, which was realized when the kingdom of God definitively entered human history and the universal order of salvation. St. John Paul II, General Audience, March 1st, 1989 Conversation with Christ Lord Jesus, you know how to prepare your disciples to experience your presence deeply and know you intimately. I ask today for a deepening in my faith in your resurrection. Let all the events of my life point me to the truth that you are alive. Resolution I will be prompt in meeting the duties and responsibilities of today in the truth of the risen Christ. For more resources, visit regnumchristi.org or download the Regnum Christi English app today.